Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. Last week, we saw that the latest report on consumer inflation showed two things. Inflation edged down a little bit from 8.5% in July to 8.3% in August, thanks in large part to falling gas prices. But when you remove things that are very volatile every month, like energy and food, and just look at this big basket of core activities that consumers spend their money on, inflation actually went up almost by double from the previous month. Now, usually when we think of inflation, we think of the Federal Reserve. It's like the superhero that rushes to save the economy from higher and accelerating prices. And its usual weapon is to raise short-term interest rates. But like most of the action movies that I watch, when heroes save the day, they often leave damage behind in the form of maybe collapsed buildings or crushed cars. In the case of the Fed, these higher interest rates could lead to higher unemployment rates and a slowing economy. Now, as I argue in this week's Main Street Macro, the Fed just needs a sidekick. And the most reasonable sidekick out there is the federal government. You see, all the Fed can do in, is in the short term, defend against inflation. But what the federal government can do is to look in the future at where supply shortages could pop up and then create policy to make them. Namely, there are two places, housing and jobs. We're seeing chronic shortages there and federal policy can help in the future. So if there was this Federal Reserve fiscal tag team, we'd do a lot better in not only pushing inflation down in the short term, but preventing it from coming up again in the future. That's a tag team that Main Street and the economy would really appreciate. Thanks for watching the Main Street Macro. For more information on the week ahead, please go to ADPRI.org.